How's it going everybody? Moses here with an update to my uh, legit crit uh, bleeding edge warrior build guide. Um, essentially, they changed the way and fixed uh, a bunch of stuff in the recent patch. 1.0.5 just came out. Uh, you guys can check it out. And these are the uh, four changes they made to uh, bleeding edge. The big deal here, all right, couple fixes with uh, Despotic Perseverance, that's the one right here, that made the ailment node essentially broken, damage increase, they say 20 to 2%, but it feels honestly like 20% was uh, uh, a lot less than what it actually gave you, the damage per ailment stack. Either way, this node is now fixed. Uh, the bigger deal that kind of like actually changes a little bit the, the rules of the game, are the uh, unstoppable momentum, the increased damage reduction, uh, whatever, but the um, fact that they added a cooldown of 10 seconds to that uh, skill's modifier essentially means that they don't want us to use this skill. Uh, this is the one that made the axe to continue spinning after being thrown for additional 4 seconds and allow you to stack a bunch of... Uh, um, you know, axes on top of each other, so you'd have like a bunch of spinning axes, kind of like the Diablo 2 hammered in, which is why I love the skill so much. So now it's gone, and it has a 10 second cooldown, and you're not going to, you know, eliminate that cooldown or make it worth, I don't think, without a massive cooldown reduction investment, uh, which is, uh, I guess, possible, but I haven't tested, so I kind of like got rid of it altogether. I wanted to see how the skill actually works so in effect the skill got buffed because this skill uh, over here would convert all your damage to rend damage right here except for the damage that you have on jewelry poison fire and lightning what does that mean that means that you couldn't apply stasis because even if your weapon had 265 to 360 aether damage which is the highest one uh, your first priority for an ailment should have been stasis with aether right but you could not do that um, besides the you know fire damage lightning damage and a little bit of toxic damage uh, I have on my jewelry the skill converted all the actual weapon damage with this node that I was using to rend it still does that it still doesn't say that it does that and it's still not fixed uh, but it's fine because this node now have a cooldown uh, so we're not using it instead uh, what we are using is the element node, which in fact works um, properly right now. No longer an exploit, no longer a bug, fixed, we're using it. Uh, also, increased area of effect, element chance score, which uh, kind of like increases uh, the chance. I don't know, you can mess around with that or weapon damage. This one's for slightly higher damage, we can try this one out. But yeah, I've been testing, and then uh, rage cost, kind of cool. Uh, with uh, crit damage over here. So this is the combination of uh, modifiers I have for the Bleeding Edge. It works. It does not spin for five seconds anymore, and you got to continuously uh, use the skill in order to, uh, you know, it, it just it doesn't last any anymore. It doesn't last any five seconds anymore. All right, so other changes we've made are uh, as follows. Uh, I did not like this rune before, Frenzied Blows, because of the you know, twice as much raise cost over 750 for twice the damage. Now I like it because this rune uh, before used to um, double our rage cost to 240 and with, you know, 240 with Frenzied Blows, normally I have like about half of that um, and that would make the kind of like place that a lot clunkier uh, because you don't have that additional rage cost now, you can now uh, simply um, you know, avoid it, uh, and and with the gear that I currently have, with the whole resource cost reduction that I have on all these items, bring it down to only 94%, which is uh, 94, sorry, 94 rage cost per axe, which is absolutely manageable for me. You guys got to check your own gear and try and stack some uh, resource cost reduction if you want to apply this node. But like before, uh, before this patch, I couldn't use it. 
it didn't feel good uh, doubling your rage and you would run out and in like longer fights it would be a little bit of a mess and a problem and I personally didn't like it but now I'm using it no problem at all another change uh, that we did is uh, the 25 wisdom and can now apply additional ailment because we are using the ailment modifier that increased our damage per ailment it's uh, 2% per stack instead of 20 uh, so it's a big change but it is now not broken so it's fixed and you know 4% per element stack is nice we can stack uh, several I'm not entirely sure what's the maximum uh, but we do have another change that we can do now which is uh, apply stasis because the damage is not converted to uh, rend the damage is uh, you know listed on the skill as you can see right here uh, we got aether lightning uh, poison on our weapon and some rend because this is a physical damage of course um, so but the highest one is aether which means and uh, lightning which means our uh, ailments will be of shock and of stasis we can have two because of this node right here okay so we can apply an additional element type um, and uh, because of that because of one of them is stasis we can also make use of this node which originally I thought we can use but we couldn't because of the conversion and now we are using it works on uh, you know underlings champions uh, bosses uh, you know elites all the kind of monsters even the uh, untainted guys will get that little um, you know purple uh, circle underneath their feet and then you'll be able to use which time cannot heal and uh, uh, differential uh, wounds which will multiply your damage by 1.2 essentially this is 100% uh, and this is 20% more uh, with a delay of 1.5 seconds so you'll hit a monster and if you if if that monster is uh, stasis then uh, you will have um, essentially more than double the damage uh, and as you see these monsters right now are stasis uh, you see the little uh, purple circle under their um, under feet and that means we're hitting and then we're hitting another time if they have the uh, stasis on so this in effect is an actual buff to our character and uh, yeah so that's another thing now I just got into 187 to test the uh, um, you know to test the thing you know for the first time dropping uh, casual legendary catalyst feels good man um, and uh, other stuff so yeah this is just uh, 187 got gotten into it for the uh, first time to test out the changes and uh, for the sake of the testing I'm also increasing the uh, or uh, you know uh, showing the um, damage numbers now one thing which is kind of like a uh, nerf but not really is the fact that now uh, we have um, like we don't we no longer have uh, an axe that's spinning 24 7 that provides us with like sustainability and leech all right so uh, I mean it's a problem um, in terms of like survivability if we're getting stunned we are then vulnerable uh, to hits and we can die and we will die more frequently um, because before we could use the skill we had a five second uh, duration and that would exceed the duration of the stun this guy by the way has a hundred and thirteen million uh, HP and he's tough um, so yeah these guys 187 I mean it was never really easy for us oh and another thing is that before this uh, run I actually um, slammed one of my rings with uh, ouch I slammed actually one of my rings with um, um, transfer time reduction and I was kind of like trying to see if with the uh, change to the cost reduction to the to the actual cost of the skill I'm gonna be able to remove all my transfer time reduction uh, into crit gems so I just put a bunch of crit gems over here and uh, yeah the answer is no uh, as you can see we still need the transfer time reduction we are getting kind of like uh, bottlenecked here which means I'm probably just going to get out of here because I cannot really use my skill and change the gems so yeah this is basically it um, the the patch did not kill uh, bleeding edge it fixed it uh, I'm happy that they did because like players have been abusing it and uh, you know giving the skill a bad name it's still a very good skill uh, I need to change my gems 187 is the top difficulty of the game it should not be trivial 
in my opinion that's perfectly fine if you've been abusing the build uh then you know you can try and use something else now if uh if you feel like you're underpowered i feel like i actually got an upgrade in terms of damage which i have but in return survivability went down because the axe no longer lingers for five seconds providing you leech while you're stunned leaving you vulnerable uh <clears throat> to incoming damage uh, so yeah, this is the uh, video. Uh, that's like my impressions. Uh, other things happened there, uh, and another kind of like big thing right now. The productivity is bugged. They giving you, you know, roughly ten times more than what it used to. Yesterday, I would you know finish a run with productivity bonuses of roughly three thousand uh, productivity per run, and now. I finished a couple runs and it literally gave me 30,000 productivity in one turn. I'm sure it's not intended and I'm sure a, a fix will come. Uh, but yeah, I mean, this is it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Continued uh, updates and Wilson videos and more builds are coming. Uh, drop by to the Twitch. We're streaming every day, all day, basically. 120 hours on this character since release. It's been a freaking blast and I can't wait to see what Wilson Studios uh, have in store for us. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.